The basement. The basement. The basement. Hi everyone, we're back with another uh, episode of Let's Play with Dead Space. I'm Ross. I'm Hard. And welcome back. I'm going to continue down our memory lane with this old game and yeah, we severing limbs here and there. And go around in this uh, questionably sticky place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smash some boxes. Mm -hmm. ah! He makes a pretty... Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh. You think you have inventory? Oh, but no. no we don't. I guess, yeah. Let's see what this one is. Oh, <laughs> double med packs. Well, son of a bitch. You want to make sure you're patched up, because badness is coming. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I gotta go. Just tell me where I gotta go. Mm -hmm. Or I unleash the fury of the plasma cutter, or whatever this is called, man, on them. Yeah. Can't remember what that's called. Like, something like that. Yeah, I think so. All I know is I generally aim for the legs first, but I don't know if you can kill them in less than that, like if it's possible or not. Mm -hmm. I can't remember either. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is the problem, though. You'll end up leaving loot, so you don't get to come back, really. And ammo is important, so I'm just going to drop one of these little med packs. And... Yeah, I remember the ammo was... Oh, did I pick it up again? Oh, you bastard. Ammo was scarce enough that I, I long ago when I did play it once, it was, uh, I had resorted to meleeing a few times. Just smack mm -hmm. them in the face, and that that doesn't do very well. It's really good. It's not bad until you get. It's bad until you get the Ripper. The Ripper allows you to really conserve ammo. Oh, oh, hello. I like how they just wait until you're right on top of them and then spring up. Mm -hmm. They're crafty. Yeah. <laughs> and some of them just come pop around the corner. Hello, love you. <laughs> And I like this one because it's, you can go multiple, I mean, like, you can sidetrack, but it's never, never felt too confusing. It's linear. It's not, like, some games, when I start playing them, I'm just overwhelmed. Like, I've never been a Final Fantasy guy with the sandbox. Yeah. I just don't play those type of games. I've never taken, derived a lot of, what's this? Oh, must be a tram or something. Just hanging out. Oh, hello. <laughs> I thought that one was getting up. I'm like, wow. That's there. There's one probably behind. No, 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 no. It's a spray of blood. Usually they drop something. Must have booted it off. Yeah, it could have. I used up enough ammo to use one of these? Nope. Well, fucking A. Mm hmm. Going up. Going down through. Second floor, necromorphs and severed limbs. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy! He's I can see you. him coming at me. Yeah. He's moved fast. When I see you, you know, they're on you like wet on rice. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think I ever used the explosive barrels. I did. Uh, once you get kinesis, uh -huh. you can pick them up and shoot them, and they do quite a oh, bit of damage. Oh yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. They're great for like things like. Those little guys that come screwing, I don't remember if you remember them. They're, they're basically mm. like the head crabs from Half-Life. Oh, yeah. They're great for that. I see. Oh, power node. All right, before I'm going to pick up that objective, I'm definitely... Some shit happened here. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but some shit. Maybe literally. Hope it's not that bloody, though. Otherwise, that guy should have uh, gone to a doctor. Oh, I got to drop... The constant, hey, I have a little med pack or a stasis pack or an air pack. Which do I need? None of them. Bigger med pack. I'll always keep one stasis pack on me. I, that's probably a good point. Now, this is a bench. You're going to access this. This will allow you to upgrade various things. Uh, generally, you're going to want to put points right away into your plasma cutter here. It's the most important gun. After that, uh, I like the pulse rifle, which you'll probably get relatively quick here. 
Um, your suit's never a bad thing, but you don't need to upgrade it too quick, too fast. And you always want to keep one power node on you. Oh yeah, does it unlock something? Unlock doors. Some doors are not worth it, but... Can you tell before going in there? Can you, you can see through the windows, usually? Uh, no, sometimes they'll have things hidden in there. Most, some of them you, you might break even. Some of them you break even. Uh, some of them you come ahead, and one or two is a, is a dud. But it is what it is. Primarily, I upgrade damage first. Damage is, the, you know, saves you on ammo. It just... Yeah. Uh, just get, get more bang for your buck, as long as you can make sure you hit them. Then capacity... And then I don't even pay attention to the rest. You don't even need them, really. It doesn't bother you. What does speed do? Speed is your, I believe it's your firing rate. Oh, okay. And then reload is, of course, reloading ability. So, like, you see here the rig. Uh, Air, not important. One, maybe. Mm -hmm. It doesn't become an issue till later in game. And then HP, of course, beneficial. But stasis you'll want to uh, eventually upgrade, like, probably about mid-game. And then, by then you'll have enough nodes. You'll be getting them quite a bit. And so you want to put some effort into it. But not right now. I'll take notice. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> you want to save your shillings uh, so you can buy uh, the upgraded suit when it becomes available. I just want to make note that you said shillings, and I appreciate that term. So no. okay. Oh, that probably would scare the piss out of me if I had sound. Because he just goes, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you, you come out thinking, oh, she's talking to me. Oh, there's something there. Ah, it's everywhere. I knew you were coming from behind me, you fucker. And now you're safe. But for how long? I'm never safe in this damn game. <laughs> Give me loot, even though I can't keep any of it. Jump scare, stand away's back. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> Surprise, Stan. Oh, wait. Uh, I saw that you would. Did you, did you find a workbench? Is that... Yep. Yep. Upgraded my damage. The right choice. Yep. I could upgrade uh, other th Oh, you cocksucker. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Fooled you. <laughs> that went down pretty easy. Well, easy I got way. more damage now, and there's still the base quality. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. That whole thing we just did, the, yeah. like, a minute ago. <laughs> oh, so an interesting note is, you'll only ever get ammo for the weapons you're carrying. I did not know that. So, like, you'll sense. have, you have can carry four weapons, you'll only pull we ammo for those weapons that you carry. Okay. How many weapons are there in this? Like, six? Six or eight. Somehow. I think in the first okay. game, there's six. There's a, uh, there's a plasma cutter. There's the cutter, there's the line gun. The, the flamethrower. Pulse rifle. Pulse rifle. Force gun. Force gun. Uh, there's the charge beam. Charge beam. Uh, the ripper. Ripper, seven. Uh, I forgot about the ripper, even though the ripper is it's the best what one. you use. Well, I, here's the thing is, I'm sure that everybody has an own their own personal preference. Yeah. It's pretty universally said that in this first game, it's this gun. It's the most... The ammo is the cheapest. It's the most accurate. It gives you two modes of being able to switch, and so severing limbs is better. You upgrade the damage, and it's right up there. And then after this gun game, it becomes kind of everyone's preference. Um, I really like the pulse rifle. Uh, it just... But the total amount of damage you can do upgraded is that's the max gun. It doesn't seem like it, but you, the amount of damage per shot it'll do is exceeds all the rest. The flamethrower was clearly the best. Uh, no, it was clearly the worst. <laughs> Based on everything I'd seen, flamethrowers. I remember buying that and then just using it once and then thinking, yeah. oh, this is awful. I usually go in the beginning sections of this game. Uh, plasma cutter, pulse rifle... Uh, Ripper, and then I put the charge gun on here because the charge gun's ammo you can sell. You've got to go to the far right oh, first. Yeah. That piece you got goes in that that right there. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Check to complete. Just, Am I gonna get bombarded? Meh. Oh, uh, I think you just activate the tram now, don't you? You pull out a circuit board and just pop it back into place. Yeah, okay, it should work now. Mm -hmm. Put the network card back in, we're good. <laughs> so, really, what kind of engineer is Isaac? Because pretty much all you do is hit buttons in this game, and 
He's a metaphorical engineer. Well, I mean, so is he electrical? It'd be awesome if he was, but I don't think he... He's probably space engineer. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> or he could be space pirate engineer. <laughs> eh, they're arguing. They're like, you should do this. No, you should do this. We should get the hell out of here. No, yeah. we shouldn't. We should try to figure out yeah. what's wrong. See, the whole time we're playing this, I never even realized he was an engineer. I, I didn't pay attention. Mm -hmm. I thought he was just one of the soldiers. Nope. So... That's all point because you're using guns that they would, or th weapons that maybe weapons are tools. Yeah, I guess so. Which is odd because these tools are pretty amazing, <laughs> like <laughs> they're killing machines. Like it's the equivalent of me running around with a, a cordless uh, circular saw and be like, <laughs> ah, fuck your limbs. <laughs> I I don't know where it is, but somewhere on the internet they have a YouTube channel where. They have people that use a um, sandblaster and just a very focused, high pr pressure uh, with high pressure water, and it will cut through. I think it's the, the like a hairpin point, of, mm -hmm. and it cuts through like batteries and and um, oh yeah, like tires and just oh, different uh, things. Is this a sampler? So that's a that's a pressure. Yeah, that's the the water pressure thing. Yeah, it's a oh, pressure okay, jet. Yeah. They pressure will, jet. Okay. It, it will cut steel. Well, yeah, at my, at my engineering program, we have a, a water jet cutter that'll cut through uh, over six inches of solid steel. That's impressive. I yeah. didn't know that such a thing existed. Mm -hmm. It's really cool because you can take it and path out, like, and like program what you want it to cut, and it can do pretty intricate, intricate cuts. It sounds like a jet engine when you start it up, though. It's like, <laughs> boom, oh, look, look, little, little blood prints. I wonder... <laughs> little little baby coming around a corner like oh oh god you have a spider I do uh, <laughs> I see Mark scrambling away is it is it time we gotta take a break here uh sure premature all I'm right scared all right we're gonna stop there we will catch y'all the next time since Mark is running away from the spider we're gonna kill a spider Gunsage. and then you guys uh yep we'll be back we'll be back later bye bye. I went down pretty easy. Fuck your limbs. I knew you were coming from behind me, you 